sort of idea of what kind of songs we sing. Like, you're familiar? Okay. Okay, do you want to do, like, a song you know, or do you want me to teach you a new song that you've never heard? Song we know! Yeah? This one's pretty, I mean, it's pretty up-tempo. It's pretty sing-alongable. Um, this is just a happy, happy little ditty. Or it's familiar. Is that way, Mike? I, I, I wouldn't do this song yeah. anymore. Trust me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. He knows I'm joking. Come on. <laughs> um, this is a song. It's a song we just finished, but it came. Uh, it happened. You guys like stories, right? You were in the kind of And uh, this is actually a, it's a happy little ditty about a friend almost dying from malaria. And, uh, basically, we were praying for my friend who was gonna die, and uh, we're in the intensive care waiting room, and we're praying, and if you, has anyone ever, like, you prayed to the point where you get to that point where, you're, like, there's nothing left to pray, you know what I'm saying? So we're kind of, we're praying for him to be miraculously healed, because the doctors all said he's gonna die, like, he, he'd been in Africa, and he picked up malaria, and, um, which is something you don't want to pick up, apparently. Yeah, I don't advise, yeah, no, I advise against it strongly, and uh, so we're, we're praying for him, right? And we get to the point where we basically say, you know what, Lord, at this point, if you heal him or if you take him home, whatever you decide to do, you do all things well. Because after all, him dying would actually be the best thing that ever happened to him. It wouldn't be so much for us, but it would for him because he knew the Lord. And so anyway, so I, I, I start just praying and praying. I just start singing this chorus. And uh, I just start singing, God, you do all things well. And I look over, and his mom is standing up, hands in the air, tears streaming down her face, and she's singing, you do all things well. And I don't know about you, but people often talk to me about, you need to have enough faith that God's going to heal, and you need to have enough faith, and if you pray the right prayers, and God's going to heal, and he's going to do what you want him to do, you know? And, but when I think of true faith, I think of a mom with her son on the deathbed saying, whether you heal him or take him home, you do all things well. Yeah. To me, that's true trust. And, uh, so uh, the good news is, the next day, I kid you not, miraculous, absolute healing. Got up, the doctor was like, laid out on the general medicine. It was like a big old deal. But the point is, I want a heart that says, God, whatever you decide to do, I, I want to say you do all things well, right? And um, Hosea 6 even goes on to say that sometimes God breaks us to bind us. But sometimes he hurts us to heal us. That he cuts us to touch us and put us back together. And um, it's kind of a hard truth. A lot of us like to think of God as like always being nice to us and pampering us. But I don't know about you, but I'm glad a surgeon uses his knife sometimes. Because if he didn't, he'd never get to the heart of the problem. So, um... So anyway, so here's a happy little ditty about <laughs> trusting God. You know? <laughs> so the verse really is just six one four two. Does that make sense? Here's my Father in heaven, hear this simple prayer. Give us through the night and fill up our despair.
me, to bind me. You hurt me, Lord, to heal me.